you said that we didn't outplay the defense. We didn't get no turnovers. Um, we gotta we gotta play better. I mean, when um, things like that, when offense, um, you know, sudden change. I mean, we talk about it all the time. We have to um, get the ball to our offense with good fit uh, position, whatever it take to get our offense, you know, going. And um, like I said, we just got to play better on defense. We got to create turnovers. We have to try to get the ball out the running back's hands or whoever it may be. It's, but we got to start playing better than the opposing defense if we're going to win games. You had a little more state scenario of a quarterback this week in that zone. Uh, what was really, you know, going on where you guys couldn't get the pressure or the sack? He was getting the ball off. I mean, guys, you know, we got to think we all got to be better on defense. Quarterback getting the ball off. You know, when we did, um, when he did hold the ball, everybody was on the same page. You know, it was incomplete or, um, you know, like KB got a sack on one of them. So, I mean, we all got to be on the same page. We all, Like I said, we all got to be better. You guys did well, though, to keep them from scoring when they got into the red zone. What was kind of the difference there between what was happening on the rest of the field and what you got? I mean, they were trying to run the ball against us. As you see, um, I think I saw they had like 47 rushing yards coming to the fourth quarter. I mean, we knew they were going to try to be bullies, and we weren't going to get bullied. And they, they bullied ball. They're trying to um, knock you off the ball and try to run the ball. And I think we were, we were standing up, too. We were stopping the run. You know, of course, they got the um, rush touchdown at the end uh, in the fourth quarter. But I think we were doing a hell of a job stopping their run. Um, so, I mean, that's what it was. It was stopping their run and just getting out the field, making them kick field goals. Besides injuries, Jeff, what's, what's been the change? Um, I, I think we, like I said, we just got to play better as a whole team. You know, um, it's not just defense and not just offense, and a special team too as well. So we all have to be kind of on the same page. And I mean, we're gonna get everybody healthy. We're gonna get everybody going, like Coach said, physically and mentally. Coming off this bye week, and we got two weeks to prepare, um, get ready for um, back back at home after the bye week. So I mean, we're gonna take this um, bye week. You know, hopefully we can get a lot of guys back. But you know, we, uh, make no. Um, um, we, we're a good team, and I, I feel like once we get everybody back or coming out this bye week, when everybody mind clear, we, um, you know, we're gonna, be, we're gonna get it back rolling. Um, you know, of course, everybody probably, you know, thinking we not that team no more. But we, I have a lot of faith in my guys. I have a lot of faith in this team, and uh, like I said, coming off this bye week, we're gonna come back rolling. It's going to be big, especially, you know, coming off two loss. Um, I think guys are going to have to um, get their mind right, um, especially on defense, you know, because we, we have to play better, like I said, on defense. Like, our goal was to play better than the Patriot defense, and it wasn't there today. So I think just that, you know, mindset coming back off the bye week, that we have to play better as a defense. We have to, you know, continue to, when they get down, to make them kick field goals and stuff like that. So I think coming off the, it's, this bye week going to be big, not just for, like you said, our body, but mentally as well. Which one? You said. Yeah, that's 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 bad because I, I for me personally, um, you know, you can never assume, you know, guy that close to out of bounds, you assume he out of bounds, then boom, touchdown. So I know for a fact, me holding myself to a high standard, I wasn't running to the ball because I did, you know, I assume he was out of bounds. So I think we all have to not assume that the running back, I mean, um, the ball carrier is out of bounds. We all have to get to the ball. So um, I think. You know, they made a play. He stayed in bounds. So what? Come out and play another, you know, um, it's next snap mentality. But, yeah, we all have to be better and get to the ball. Does it feel like, Jeffrey, coming into the week, you guys have to, have, have to play a clean game to win in our offense? You turn the ball over defensively, miss tackles, not getting to them enough. Is that kind of way it played out in your mind? Of course, man. I think that was our message this week, you know, especially – trying to outplay their defense. You know, you against another good team and a well-coached team, you can't – you got to be um, mistake-free. You know, you're going to have some miscues, of course, but in a game like this, you got to treat it like a playoff game. You know, you can't come in, you know, you know, giving up, you know, wide open, whatever it may be. You can't come in not stopping the run. You know, of course, we got to take care of the ball, whatever it may be, but that's not my job to talk about that. My job is how can we keep um, – getting better on defense, making them kick field goal when they get in the red zone or whatever it may be. Jeff, you mentioned needing to kind of clear the head, you know, uh, for the players on this team to kind of clear their mind heading into this bye, for you guys to kind of get back on track. For you personally, what does that process look like? Is it as simple as maybe, you know, getting this 
full week off just maybe not thinking about football or is it kind of looking at the film? How do you go about maybe clearing the head? I mean, of course, you know, um, you know, when we come in early this week, you know, the thing is, how can we, you know, get the corrections, watch this game, um, you know, get your mind right, get your body feeling back good, you know, get in the cold tub or whatever it may be, you know, trying to get your body just feeling back, you know, not 100% because you'll never be 100% in the season. But I think just to, um, from my aspect, I think I just got to – Come in and see how how can I improve? Uh, improve. I think that's the main thing with me. You know, going to our, um, Coach T office, sitting down, and watching extra film before everybody get away. Um, you know, later in the week. But you know, of course, you want to get away from um, the game just a little bit, not too much, I should say. But you want to get away and just kind of get back to the normal. You know, because I think that's, that's the best thing about them bye weeks. You know, you can kind of take off from football for that week. But you also still have to uh, keep your mind sharp because you're getting ready for another opponent coming in right after the bye week. So I think that's the big thing.